Hi, I'm Nicholas from the SOAPI team. Uh, in SOAPI 4.5 we introduced a new licensing system and that was because we wanted to give you more installation options like for example floating licenses. Uh, so what I'd like to do now is show you the new installation process because if you're an old SOAPI user you might not be familiar with how the new installation process looks. So let's look at the base installation, installation with a proxy and installation of a floating license. Let's go. And this is what you see the first time you start SOAP UI. Uh, you will be uh, having a dialogue asking you to provide your license. And you've gotten your license previously in a mail in a zip file. So you unzip the uh, license and you save it uh, somewhere. In my case, I saved it on the desktop. So I browse for the file, add the key as such. Click OK. SOPI will show me the uh, EULA and it will ask me to activate the license. I choose activate online since it's the easiest way to activate the license. Offline is for if you don't have access to um, to the um, to the internet for some reason, and you might also actually have an already activated license. We'll skip those now. So I'll activate it online. I fill in all my uh, information. In this case, I'll show you this later. But this is uh, where you set up your proxy if you have one. And I finish. And the so BI will communicate with the license server. and it's going to activate the license as such and now it's actually activated and if you want to make sure look here show license details and we can see that I've activated it and that's it that's how easy it is to activate uh, SOPI in the normal case now let's look at how you do it when you have a proxy So, what I wanted to show you now is uh, how you uh, activate the license if you have a proxy running internally. So you recognize this step. This is where I, I entered my personal information. Now I go to the next step, which is actually setting up the proxy. And I'll uh, here I'll have to give the HTTP address. In my case, it's an Intel number. If the, it has got some kind of port, which it usually does, in my case 3128, user, and password. The password is masked. And then I click finish, it sets up the connection, activates the license. I'm done, and I can look at the actual license. and it looks fine. So what I wanted to show you uh, was a slightly more complex scenario. What happens when you have a license but for some reason would like to install somewhere else? For example, if you uh, reinstall your operating system. Well, you use the help menu. Go here, choose to deactivate your license and Sophia tells you that if you do that, uh, Sophia Pro will go into Corsair mode. I click yes. I choose that I want to deactivate the license. I say that I want to do it online through direct connection, and it is actually deactivated. Uh, just to make sure. I go here and I look at license details and it says that I'm a running under code courtesy license. The final thing I'd like to show is how to install the floating license. It's actually quite easy. Start by clicking acquire floating license from server. So if I show you this dialogue could have a li valid license file 
or purchase one, but usually you want to get it from the license server. So currently, SOPI is looking for a service in the local network, and it won't find one. So I'll provide it with an address. Like that. I'll use the direct connection. So the connection, getting the license, showing me the Yugula, and it's up and running. And um, I could also look at the license details. And this was purchased by Margaret Thomas. And that's all I have to show you. As you can see, the steps are quite simple, both for uh, the regular path, for installing uh, to activate licenses over a proxy or to get your license, a floating license from a server.